No builder wants to get a call saying that something's wrong with a house they just built, but I got a call, I got a piece of flooring that delaminated. I'm gonna try to take care of it today. Let's see what we got. What's happening? Hey, today I wanna to show you something I'm doing a repair on a floor. I had a delamination in a veneered, engineered wood flooring. It's kind of tricky because this is all glued down. I can't just pull a piece of wood out and replace it with a new one. So I'm gonna take the veneer off, go to the shop and make a new veneer and glue it back down with some epoxy. I'm just using a razor knife and a very sharp chisel to score and cut this veneer off and then I'll be able to replace it with a new one. So I'm using the same trick that I showed you in a couple videos where I use a razor knife to cut a very straight square edge across the board. We did this on some tongue and groove because the board was already nailed up. That was just for an example. But this is a real case where I needed to cut a perfectly straight and very sharp factory looking edge. You can see where I use my knife in this square to score and cut a straight line across the face of the board. When I make the new veneer, I'll just square cut the end and it should fit up perfectly like a factory joint. You can see I've got most of the veneer taken off. I'm just using this chisel right here. It's pretty sharp. I've already cut myself with it <clears throat> and I've got, got a little bit more to go. So I am just taking the chisel, putting a lot of my weight behind it with my leg and just wiggling it back and forth. And then I can peel up a little bit at a time. It's a little slow, as you can see, not the easiest thing to do. You can get a little chip of it right there and peel it up. So there you have it. I've completely removed the old veneer. I scraped off the surface to get it clean and I'll vacuum it out. There's the old veneer, isn't that pretty? Maybe the next one will look a little better. Check out my awesome camera stand. This is what carpenters use to hold cameras. I got some extra pieces of flooring that we left at this house. It was in the basement and I've got my piece of the veneer from the piece that I took off along with the length of the piece that I need to cut. So I got the veneer off of the piece of wood in the house. Now the challenge is to get the veneer off of this piece of flooring without destroying it and be able to glue it back down. So I'm gonna try a couple of methods. I got some ideas. We'll see what happens. veneer is so thin it's going to be a real challenge to get it stripped down to just the veneer and take all the backing off without damaging the veneer. I made three pieces because I was thinking I'll probably mess one or two of them up uh, and I've already chipped the corner off of one already. I was going to use my drum sander to sand these things down to thickness but I think that's too risky so I'm going to try a scraper or maybe a chisel or a hand plane and try to very carefully get the veneer peeled back. I think I found the perfect tool for the job, this Lie Nielsen hand plane. It's brass, super heavy, super sharp, takes very fine shavings. Thanks, honey. Uh, she got me this for Christmas a while ago. Uh, woodworkers, hey, uh, wives, woodworkers' wives watching. Ooh, 
Guys like these, okay? Man, as you can probably tell, this is not very fun or very easy to get this thing down thin enough to where I just have the veneer left, but uh, I'm going for it. Well, I'm sure that was painful to watch me doing that. It was even more painful to do it, so not very fun. But I have the veneer and I'm good to go. This card scraper was a very handy tool for scraping a very fine amount of material. Today, it was more like a cardboard scraper because I think that's what all the rest of this backing is made from. Seems like cardboard. Anyway, cut myself while I was doing the veneer. Hopefully I won't get a venereal disease. I don't know. Sorry, dad joke here. Here's my piece. Slip it in like that. There it is. Just needs a little glue and some heavy stuff to set on it. Let's get to it. So you can see I put tape around the edge to keep that epoxy off of the rest of the floor. I'm gonna wipe it off right now while it's wet. A nice piece of wood underneath of that. And that bag is full of snow chains. Uh, you can see it's sunny and about 70 degrees today. So um, we don't need them outside, but they're really handy for this because they're super heavy. Well, there it is. Got it glued in. Looks like the rest of them. Let's get out of here. All right, well that's a wrap. I'm gonna get out of here. If you ever need to do something like this, now you have a few ideas of what you could do. So, uh, peace out. Thanks for checking out this Perkins Builder Brother video today. See ya.